My name is Anna Bollinger, and in this video, I'm going to be telling you a bit about chameleons. And then my friend Prakriti will demonstrate how to make your own color-changing chameleon craft at home. Earlier today, Teresa discussed how chameleon feet function almost like pairs of salad tongs. In this video, I'll be discussing some more amazing adaptations of chameleons, including their ability to change colors. Chameleons are lizards that have elongated bodies, four limbs, and a long tail. They come in a wide variety of sizes, with some species only growing one inch long as adults, while other species can grow over two feet long. Many species use their tail like a fifth limb, as the tail can support a chameleon's entire body weight. These cool lizards have eyes that can swivel around in opposite directions, the better to see yummy insects with. Most of the chameleon species we know of live in Madagascar, which is an island off the coast of mainland Africa. Of course, the most famous adaptation of chameleons is their ability to change colors. Scientists initially thought that they changed colors to help camouflage themselves with their surroundings, but recent research indicates that they actually change skin color to communicate with one another, like when trying to find a potential mate. They also change colors to help regulate their body temperature. When resting, or at least in a neutral emotional state, most chameleon species are green or brown. But when interested in mating, both male and female chameleons will display amazing colorful patterns, often specific to their species, to show their interest in the other chameleon. When feeling angry or territorial, they will frequently display bright contrasting colors, like bright yellow backgrounds with dark stripes or spots, in an effort to scare off a predator or a competitor. But how exactly do they change their colors? Chameleon skin contains different types of specialized cells called chromatophores, meaning color burning. The chromatophores are organized into layers within the skin. The upper layer of skin contains cells with yellow and red pigments, while lower layers contain cells with dark melanin pigment, which appears black or brown. Just below the layer of yellow and red chromatophores is a layer of cells of iridescent chromatophores. Rather than containing pigment, iridescent chromatophores contain an array of semi-transparent nano-sized crystals that reflect certain wavelengths of light. The reflective light is perceived as a color. Chameleons primarily change color by actively adjusting the spacing between these nanocrystals, which causes different wavelengths of light to be reflected. For example, when blue light reflects off the crystal layer and travels through the yellow pigment above, the result we see is the color green. How cool is that? Now let's go to Prakriti, who will show you how to make your own color changing chameleon at home. Thanks for that great background information about how chameleons change the color of their skin, Anna. I'm excited to demonstrate how to make your own color-changing chameleon craft at home. This activity is inspired by the PBS Kids website. For this activity, you will need a chameleon image, a brass fastener, a pair of scissors, two paper plates, a set of paints, some paint brushes, and a cup of warm water, and some paper towels for easy cleanup in case of spills. The first step is to paint one of the paper plates, and don't leave any white spaces. You may be wondering what colors do chameleons display? As Anna mentioned previously, when resting, or at least when in a neutral state, most chameleon species are green or brown, so you'll definitely want to include those colors on your plate. However, when feeling aggressive, chameleons will display bold patterns featuring stripes and spots with varying shades of yellows, reds, greens, and blacks. Chameleons that are interested in mating will display bright yellows, blues, and indigo colors. Because chameleons utilize skin color to communicate with each other, as well as other animals, and to express their moods, you can see a variety of patterns in different chameleon species. So get creative with painting your paper plate. Create patterns that represent different moods. If you don't have multiple paintbrushes, clean your paintbrush off in between by rinsing it in a cup of warm water. Once you've finished painting your paper plate, set it aside to dry. Next, use your scissors to cut out the provided chameleon image. Next, using your pencil, trace the outline of the chameleon image onto the second paper plate. You might need to tape the chameleon image down in order to hold it still for tracing. 
With an adult's help, carefully poke a hole using your scissors through the traced chameleon and then cut it out so you end up with a paper plate that has an empty chameleon shape cut out in the middle. After the painted paper plate is thoroughly dry, place it under the plate with the cutout chameleon shape. Then poke the brass fastener through the middle of both paper plates. Rotate the upper plate and see your chameleon change its colors. How fun! Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed the rest of Discovery Day. Bye!